Jack takes a tree branch and puts it through the trigger of the AK-47, then using his shoelace, hanging the gun upside down from the tree, stuck half a box of matches on top of his shoelace, then he lit it on fire. As the matches burned and broke the laces, the AK-47 fell straight down. The branch snaps the trigger. Instantly, automatic fire. The fierce sound of gunfire instantly attracts the attention of the enemy. Jack took the opportunity, knocked out one of the guards, stripped the man of his uniform to change into his own, sneaking up on the, the enemy's arsenal, carefully avoiding, patrol the skirmishers, pull out the tent pegs, sneak inside the armory, prepare to destroy the enemy, the most deadly missile of all. After confirming the type of missile, Jack quickly pulled out his cowhide kit, opened the bag. Inside, he pulled out a screwdriver, unscrewing the screws on the control box to remove the square flap. Then he put the bag aside and took out the removal spanner, carefully slipped it under the circuit board. In one fell swoop, the missile's control unit was pried off. The missile had a self-destruct program. Once it was damaged, it would instantly go into self-destruct mode. With 25 seconds to go before the missile explodes, Jack immediately pulled out a pair of sharp-nosed steel pliers and cut the red wire to the control panel. But it doesn't stop the timer from counting down. With only 10 seconds left on the countdown, Jack quickly took out a pin. He straightened the needle. After straightening it, a piece of wire was inserted into the timer's circuit board. The timer ticked. It finally stopped at 0.01 seconds. Jack then put his mind at ease. Jack quickly drills out of the armory, tied another AK-47 to the top of a tree branch. Then, the AK-47 automatically fires non-stop, disrupting the enemy's attention. When the enemy rushed out of the camp in a panic, Jack immediately cowered in the corner, throwing a small bayonet at Mark, letting Mark cut the ropes on the cage himself, while Jack takes out one of the guards left behind, quickly escapes with Mark. At this point, the enemy realized that they have fallen for Jack's trick. They return to the camp in a panic. They grabbed their rifles and fired wildly at the two men. The two men dodged the bullets as they ran towards the cliff to delay the enemy's movement. Mark took his rifle and fired back at the enemy. Jack immediately put on his parachute. He then pelted the muzzle of the flare gun with rocks, and after a few blows to the muzzle of the gun, the recoil of the bullet is greatly increased when it is fired. Jack sees the enemy coming. Jack quickly takes Mark into his arms. He fires a flare at Mark's back. The recoil was enormous. It sends both of them flying. Seeing the two men flying off the cliff, the enemy hurriedly fired at the bottom of the cliff, but they've already escaped the range of the bullets. Jack saw the right moment. He pulled his parachute. The two of them made Make their escape. 